This episode of Joe Genius is brought to you by Gorilla Glue. Oh, the shenanigans you see on the internet. When we get to the bottom of all this cool science, right here on Revision 3's Joe Genius. Hey everybody, welcome to Joe Genius, where backyard science goes big time. I'm Jonah Ray, and check this out. As you can see, this episode is all about rockets. Rockets work by action and reaction, Isaac Newton's good old third law of motion. The engines simply send the rocket vehicle one way by pushing exhaust the other. This rocket is called the Lowell 4, and it survived a supersonic flight and returned to me absolutely unscathed. It's pretty cool footage, but I wouldn't hire that rocket to shoot my wedding. You know what's really Joe Geniusy? Putting a mortar in the bottom of a rocket. That's like a bomb on top of a bomb. I think we can all agree rockets in and of themselves are awesome, but that doesn't mean they can't be awesomer. You simply just have to add explosives. Good fun. All right, let's drop some science. There's a lot at work here, not only to build a rocket, but to also keep it steady once airborne. First, you need something to propel the rocket. Anything that pushes down will work. It could be a chemical fuel or something as simple as compressed air. Then, you have to keep the rocket in control. That means shaping the aerodynamics of the rocket and controlling the thrust to send your creation straight up. Hey, you big dumb hairy ape. Get Gorilla Glue, it's made for you. Gorilla Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, visit GorillaGlue.com or head to your local hardware store to check out all their amazing products for yourself. No Joe Genius Toolbox is complete without it, so don't come crying to me when you don't have any at the next Joe Genius meeting. So, you need rocket fuel, but what do you do? You head on down to the rocket fuel mart? No, those don't exist, I just made that up. Every good rocketeer knows the best fuel is homemade. A little potassium nitrate and sugar, and you can do that too. It may not be the fuel choice of NASA, but sugar is actually very combustible, and it's a simple propellant for rocketeers. Brace yourself, guys, because this next rocket scientist is so excited that he can barely contain himself. All you're gonna need for this project is paper, baking soda and vinegar are gonna be your fuel, two bottles, uh, tape, cardboard, and a cork if you don't have cork, just like uh, pile a bunch of tape together and like make it toilet paper. Well hopefully this will get him a little bit more excited. We're going to give this Canadian backyard scientist the Joe Science Award for his detailed direction and for writing the kitchen cabinet. Nice work, kid. Now please, go outside and make some friends. The fuel behind this bad boy is pressurized air. Creator George Katz from Australia says he has one goal for his homemade rockets, and it's stated on his website. It's to maximize your chances of enjoying your next birthday party outside the hospital ward. Hey, Georgie, maybe you should cut that cord and maximize the fun.
But why use compressed air when it's so easy and entertaining to make a carbon dioxide rocket? The recipe calls for combining two of the most volatile elements known to man, diet cola and breath mints. <laughs> Now this science can get all up in your face pretty quickly if you don't watch it, and here's why. If you look at a Mentos really close up, you'd see that it has thousands of tiny pits all over the surface. Tiny bubbles from carbon dioxide gas in the soda attach to these grooves. The bubbles quickly rise up, shoving all the liquid up and out of the bottle to create a spectacular explosion. Really quick, I want to thank our sponsor, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, go to GorillaGlue.com or just head on down to your local hardware store and go, where's the Gorilla Glue? And they'll be like, it's right here. And they go, thank you, here's the money for it. They go, see you later. And then you won't be as embarrassed next time you're at a Joe Genius meeting and you don't have it in your toolbox. That's right, Gorilla Glue, get it. Did those mints leave a bad taste in your mouth? Did that Diet Cola leave you flat? Well, don't worry, backyard rocket engineer Matt from Jersey is gonna show those soda jerks how it's done. And oh yeah, FYI, we're gonna give him the Coveted Joe Genius Award. Don't tell him though, it's a secret. You lay the Mentos down on the table as such. Got it. Take whatever's left, fold it back over. <laughs> and then slowly dip it into the bottle of Diet Coke. It starts spinning. It starts spinning as such. Just, I want you to knock on this. Knock on it for me. It's, it's hard as a rock. <laughs> Mentos Diaco Drop. <laughs> <laughs> and it, here it goes. It landed on top of the roof. <laughs> Diet Coke and Mentos experiment. It's fun. Try it. You know what, Matt from New Jersey? I think I just will. That was way more awesome than yours, Matt. Joe Genius! <laughs> there you have it, rockets. The timeless, simple, scientific way for any backyard engineer to shoot stuff into the sky. Oh, crap! <laughs> for Joe Genius, I'm Joe Ray, the ultimate rocket therapist. Till next time, see you later. All right, now we're gonna try it Matt's way. And hopefully I can get the cap screwed on fast enough. <laughs> Matt, you've bested me. Have fun in Jersey. I'm gonna go wash up. Joe Genius is brought to you in part by the National Science Foundation. <laughs>